Welcome to Questback Tutorials. In this episode, we would like to introduce an interesting feature of EFS, the mail trigger. At the beginning, a few words on dynamic elements such as filters, lists, loops and triggers in general. These survey elements allow to create questioner content and follow-up actions dependent on the respondent's entries. This allows a high degree of personalization of the questionnaire, for example by addressing the respondent directly or by incorporating previous answers into subsequent questions. If you want to react automatically to specific events in the course of a survey, triggers may be your favorable instruments. For example, in a customer satisfaction survey, customers can report negative experiences. Now, you wish to automatically email the customer's report to your customer center. In another survey, a respondent may request additional information material. In this case, it would be helpful if the respondent's address data were directly transferred to the sales department. The mail trigger is available for all survey types. When a defined event occurs, it will trigger the dispatch of an email whose content was predefined, dynamically generated or entered by the respondent. In the next step, we show you how a mail trigger is created. We want to do that with a concrete example. Many surveys have a final open-ended question at the end of the questionnaire to ask the respondents if they have any comments, feedback or anything else to say. The participants' comments should be sent to the survey manager via email. We will use a personalized survey for this example. To create a trigger, we first go to the questionnaire editor. Then we select the page and the questionnaire where the action should be triggered. In this case, it is the page where the respondent has the possibility to give some further feedback. Click on Triggers in the left menu. Then click on New Trigger. Enter a title for the new trigger and select the desired type of trigger. In this case, choose Mail Trigger and click on Create. Choose for the field Execution Position, After Submitting Page, After Filter. Then confirm with Save. If you only wish to send the mail when the respondent really entered a comment, you must define corresponding conditions. Therefore, click on the Edit link in the Condition field. Enter the desired definition in the condition editor. In this example, the mail should only be sent if the text field with the variable v12 is filled in. The condition is v12 greater. Leave the code field empty and then confirm with save. Next switch back to the mail trigger by clicking on back. Optionally, you can execute the trigger in the questioner preview. This may be helpful when you want to test the survey. In case of a mail trigger, testing in the preview is not really useful. The wildcards for the email address or project variables cannot be allocated to a participant account in the preview. So therefore, just keep the checkbox deactivated. For more information on the detail configuration, you can take a look at the EFS manual. Save everything. In the final step, you configure the email which should be sent out. Go to the detail configuration. As this is a personalized survey, you can select the U email wildcard from the drop down list in the field Mail Dynamically From. If participants fill in the comment field, the wildcard will be replaced with the email address which was saved for them in the participant administration. Now enter the address of the survey manager as a mail recipient. You can either specify a single email address or provide a comma-separated list of email addresses. The email will be sent out to all listed recipients. In the subject field, enter a title. 
in the mail text field, enter the variable for the comment field, in this case v12 and close by two hash signs. During the course of the survey, this wildcard will be replaced with a participant's entry. At the end, confirm with save. Before you start the field phase, you should test the functionality of your trigger. To see if your trigger is working correctly, create a test participant with an email address to which you have access. To do so, go to the participant administration. Type in the required information. Then use this account to test the questionnaire in productive mode. Click on the code of the chosen tester. In this way, you can go through your questionnaire and check whether the wildcards used are correctly replaced by the email address and questionnaire entries. You should get an email now. Congratulations, you have successfully created your mail trigger. This was a short introduction on how to create a mail trigger. For a deeper insight, please reach out to your Questback contact or take a look at the manual. Thank you for your attention and bye for now.